Topic four, correcting a prior year error. An error is a mistake or an omission made when preparing the financial statements. It's an error if the accountant had the information when preparing the financial statements, or the accountant should have had the information or should consider the information when preparing the financial statements. If statements were prepared using the best information available at the time and better information becomes available later, that is not considered to be an error. Similarly, if an error is discovered in the current year's financial statements, and we say current year, meaning the financial statements haven't been finalized, then that's not an accounting error from previous periods. So we can simply just fix the error right now. We don't have to touch retained earnings. The books aren't finalized, the financial statements aren't printed, so we fix it if it's in the current year. Something to keep in mind, because this can get a bit tricky. Corrections of accounting errors are accounted for retrospectively with restatement. Prior period statements have to be restated with the correct amounts. And often errors have reversed or canceled themselves out by the time somebody notices them and the current statements don't need to be adjusted. So keep in mind if it is a reversing error and the item is already reversed, Take a look at what your net impact to the ending retained earnings would be, and perhaps uh, current period statements don't need to be readjusted, don't need to be adjusted. Something to keep in mind. Let's look at a question. An accountant at Green Inc. forgot to record insurance expense last year. Which of the following is the correct approach to fix this? Is it A, record the double expense in, the, in this year and don't touch the prior year statements? B, adjust current year retained earnings to account for this mistake and record the correct expense amount this year. C, restate the prior year statements to include the insurance expense and record the correct expense amount in this year. The correct answer is C, this is an error. Comparative statements must be fixed and restated and the correct amount should be recorded this year. That's all for this video. That's all for this chapter. That's, this is all for this series. I truly hope that you have enjoyed, or at the very least, found these topics and these chapters informative. It was our goal to provide you a base, a foundation of knowledge upon which to build upon. Learning is repeated exposure to same or similar topics, and then applied and synthesized. And by providing you this base in little bite-sized chunks, they are meant to be something that you can come back to and build upon in subsequent areas when they do get a bit more tricky. Intermediate Financial Accounting 2 is known to be one of the most tricky accounting uh, series of chapters. We go into depth in a number of difficult items, complex financial instruments, shareholders' equity, earnings per share, there really isn't an easy item here. So if you've made it this far, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your dedication to you and your studies. And we look forward to seeing you in another set of accounting topics. Thank you.